To view, edit or use any of the ready-made templates, please log into your account and select Create Scorecard. You can then scroll down um, to choose one of the available templates. You'll see the scorecard name and above the image of the scorecard template. So just click on the template that you'd wish to use, select Use as Template, and this will create a version within your account. This takes just a few moments. At this stage, you could enter your logo, choose your fonts and choose your colours um, if you wish to. Otherwise, um, you can do this at a later stage. You're then um, in the scorecard builder for this scorecard um, and all of the different elements are editable and customizable. Um, so you can make sure that they suit your brand um, and your scorecard. So you may want to start by heading to settings and just checking that score that you're happy with that scorecard name. You can update it if you wish to. You can also update the URL um, for your scorecard. If you make those changes and click on save, so to view the scorecard and test it, you can do so in draft mode um, by clicking on the square box with the arrow pointing out. You can make any edits that you wish to to this landing page, to the questions and to the results page. And I will show you how to do this. So if we head back to the platform, I would recommend you work through the items on the left hand side. So if I click on questions, and categories, I can see in this template that I've selected, there are no categories, but you can certainly add them if you wish to by selecting add category, giving it a name and then pressing save. Once you've, do, once you've done that, head to questions. I'm just going to change the view up here as if you've added categories, you will then see them listed above. And if you wish to move some of the questions that already exist into that category, you can click on the pencil to edit. Um, select the category list, you'll see them listed and you can just select which which category you'd like each question to sit under. You may also want to just edit the scoring um, so you can click on edit, make edits to the question um, by clicking on the pencil. You can also delete the questions or add new questions um, if you want to. We can then head to design and that will show us what one question looks like. And this will allow us to apply our own branding. So, for example, on the header section, you can upload your own logo. Um, on the question section, you could change the image um, and any of the colors um, and, and formatting options um, to suit your example. Then click Save and come back out. The next item we might want to work on is the landing page. So if we click to edit the landing page, again, we'd work through all of the section types. Um, the header would be to upload your own logo. Um, form 2, you could change the headline, the intro text, and then you've got all your formatting options further down um, this section. If you don't want to use a section that's on a template, you could just simply click on the eye, which will hide it. Um, you can also click into it and then just select, if I just move this, remove section here. Uh, you may also want to add some further information. So you could add a section, pick up any of the different sections available. That will drop to the bottom of your list and then you can click on the six grey dots to drag and drop it into a new position. Uh, so once we save that, we can come back out, which will lead us into the lead form. You may want to add some further fields, uh, which you can do so, and you'll also find your data privacy settings here. Next on the list is your results. So I recommend just checking those score tiers work for your scorecards. Um, and this could be, you could change the, the colors, you could change the labels, and you can change the percentage ranges here and even add tiers as well, should you wish to. We can then select our results page and we can click to edit it. So we're presented with all the different section types that we can customize. When it comes to the donut chart, this gives the user their score. And in this case, dynamic content has been enabled. So we can see that there's different versions of content for each of the score tiers. So I would recommend reviewing each of those versions, making any updates, edits um, that you wish to. 
If you have added categories and you'd like to display those scores and some dynamic feedback, you can go to add a section, results section, categories, and there's different ways that you can present those category scores. So you would just select the section type that you like that would drop down to the bottom of your list. You can then drag and drop it into position and you will find that um, enable dynamic content toggle up here, which you can slide on. That will open up your score tiers for each category um, and you can do the same as we have done here for the donut chart. Again, if you don't want to use sections of the template, just click on the eye or remove and you will need to pop in your own links um, for any of the call to action sections. So this one is call to action six and it would be a case of popping your Calendly link, for example, in the button link box and then pressing save and heading back out. So you may then wish to run through the other items, um, but the landing page, the questions and the results pages are the main areas um, for you to check and customize. The final section would be that result email, which is going to link them to the results page that we've just looked at. And you can further customize that here. And there are additional information under settings, which you could update um, general is the scorecard name and the URL branding. This is where you can come in and add your logo, your fonts and colors, which would then be your main default settings throughout the scorecard. You have your share appearance. So that controls what it looks like once it's shared on social media platforms. You have notifications, which will let you know once somebody has completed your scorecard. You have integrations. We have direct integrations listed here, and we also, in addition, have Zapier. And then we have a tracking page for any custom tracking scripts, which you can copy and paste the codes onto this page.